Okay. Um, thank you all guys for coming today. Today my presentation is over etiquette and decorum. So those words might be like brand new to you. You've never heard of them. Great. I will explain it all. Okay. So what it is and why it is important. So etiquette and decorum. The definitions of it is the customary code of polite behavior in society or among members of a, partic a particular profession or group and then behavior in keeping with good taste and propriety. So all those big words, all that that really means is it's a way of behaving and acting in public and then the correct way of behaving in public and a person's behavior or a person's way of behaving towards others. So it's pretty much just how you act out in the real world, how you treat others. All right, there's certain things that can influence etiquette. And those things are physical, which is grace, beauty, outer appearance, things just how you carry yourself, how you present yourself to other people. Um, psychological, could be your childhood, your parents, your culture. Um, just pretty much your background affects a lot of how your etiquette, how you were raised. So um, every culture is different. If you go to Japan and leave money on a table, that's considered rude in Japan, okay? That culture is way different than America. That's just one example of how etiquette is kind of different among cultures. And then other things that can influence it, your family, friends, air, education, and marital life. So just things having to do with your outside, um, outside life that could affect how you do etiquette and decorum. So etiquette is, we kind of went over the definitions, but it's personal skills and manners needed to create a good impression, and then knowing how to apply those skills and appropriately um, use them in different situations. So that's what etiquette is. Now, there's different types of etiquette, and that's kind of what I'm gonna spend the majority of time talking about today. Um, there's social, communication, dining, business and school, cell phones out and about are my sections. Um, First thing, before we get started, before I kind of give you a rundown of all the different ones, I want y'all to do something for me. Okay, you can take your handout that you have, leave everything else. I want y'all to pretend that you don't know each other in here, you've never met. I want y'all to just find a different desk in this classroom, okay? On your way there, pretend that you're passing people you've never met, okay? How would you interact with them? Got it? Feel free to talk out loud. I'm going to watch y'all and kind of see our classroom etiquette. Got it? Any questions? Okay, go ahead and do that. Talk to each other like you would pass someone in the street. How would you? Okay, good. Kaylee Pontius, come to the office, please. Kaylee Pontius. All right, you're finding a new desk for passing people that you have never met before. Okay. All right, perfect. So, on y'all's way to your new seats, as I was watching y'all, I saw a couple of people that did a handshake. Maybe y'all smiled at each other. Maybe y'all giggled because you thought their hair looked funny. I don't know. Um, so on your way to your new spot, if you had never met these people, I know it's kind of hard to pretend. I did see some things that are just kind of known manners, right? If you meet someone, um, maybe you're going to shake their hand, smile at them, give them some type of greeting, okay? I did see those things. Now, social etiquette. Um, good manners. That's pretty much sums up social etiquette. Good manners, things you've been taught since you were little. Um, saying hi, smiling, holding open the door, saying please and thank you. Those kind of things go under that social aspect of etiquette. Um, next thing, a first impression. Whenever you meet someone, some of y'all, if you passed each other in the, um, passed each other, Y'all might not have a good first impression because they were staring at their feet. They didn't even look at you. Okay, first impressions are the first thing that you notice about someone. So first impressions, um, if you're coming up to someone, those handshakes that I saw, a handshake is a great way um, to give a first impression. And on your handout, I gave you five basic rules for a good handshake. So one, you're going to use your right hand, even if you're left-handed, majority of people use their right hand. Make sure your hand is dry and clean. You don't want to shake hands with someone that has a dirty hand. And then you're going to press your web, which is this part. Press your web against the other person's web. 
You're going to pump two or three times and then release. Don't make it awkward and just keep on going with your handshake. And then lastly, shake with confidence. Okay, so the person sitting next to you, and one thing that's not on here, but I think is equally important, maintain eye contact. It does me no good if I come over here and shake his hand and I'm looking straight at the ground the whole time. Okay, make good eye contact with that person. Got it? Um, whoever is next to you, I want you to turn if you have, no. if y'all are kind of sitting in groups of three over here, turn and y'all give each other a good handshake. Okay? With those five rules, eye contact, use your right hand, there you go, right hand, I'll shake your hand and give you a good one. Okay. No, go away here. Mia, did you give a good handshake? Yes. Perfect. All right, so a good handshake is one of those ways to make a good first impression. Um, next thing, guys, be on time. Okay, if you're on time and you're not, um, if you're late and you're making someone wait on you, that just means that you're kind of saying to them that your time is way more valuable than yours and they're not respecting their time like you respect your own. Okay, so being on time is another way. Um, energy in your voice and then giving a polite greeting. If you're going somewhere you've never been, maybe someone invited you over for dinner, um, bring a small little gift and to give to the host or hostess just to show your appreciation for them inviting you. Okay, another um, thing, personal space. I think we've all probably met someone that kind of gets in your bubble and is in your area. Um, if you notice that someone's kind of backing away and doesn't want you that close, Take a step back. Respect their personal space. Now back to culture, like we talked about. Each culture is a little bit different with personal space and what is the norm. So if you travel somewhere else, it might be um, a little bit different. And then lastly, um, grooming. This is one thing, good hygiene. It's kind of expected in our culture. Um, people should notice you, not what you're knit wearing, not how you smell, not what you look like. Um, they should notice you. Make sure you have good hygiene, clean hands, clean fingernails, you're wearing clean clothes without wrinkles, and just pretty much look in the mirror before you walk out of a house and see how you're presenting yourself with the way that you're dressed, okay? Um, next, we have dining. Now, this is a big one. I think um, we could kind of go on forever talking about dining because there's so many etiquette rules that go with you um, going out to eat or um Eating, a, eating with someone, all those dining rules. Um, one thing, there is um, basic ta table manners. These are things that you've been taught. Um, wash your hands before you eat. Eat small amounts. You don't want to eat a whole steak in one bite, right? You're going to cut a couple of pieces, eat those, and then couple, cut a couple of more. Cut, um, chew with your mouth closed, and whenever you are eating, if someone's talking to you, wait till you swallow that bite. No one wants to see kind of what you're eating. So keep your mouth closed. Don't put your elbows on the table and do not reach across the table. If there's something that you can't um, reach, ask Teachers, for them please to pass it. Interruption. If you have not taken your attendance for RTI in the Google Drive, please do so now. Take your attendance for RTI in the Google Drive. Thank you. Okay. Um, next, you are... Um, what is that? Okay, don't reach, don't reach across the table. Ask for someone to pass you an item. Got it? And I actually, um, we skipped communication, which is a big one that comes um, with first impressions. Communication and how you talk to people is another big thing as far as etiquette goes. You want to give a proper greeting whenever you're having a conversation. Make it a two-way conversation. Okay, don't just listen don't just listen and give no input. And on the flip side of that, no one wants to hear you talk about yourself without having any input. So um, make sure it's a two-way conversation. Ask questions about them. Show interest and um, kind of switch up the subject. Ask them things that they're interested in and really get to know the person as you're having a conversation with them. Um, next on your communication is gossip. Guys, this is, um, I guess it goes in with, etiquette but gossiping if you're talking about someone and it gets back to them that's a great way for everything that you've tried and all that impression um, and reputation you built you can ruin it in a couple seconds just by what you say and if it gets back so just a good rule of thumb is don't talk about people behind their back um, next for people's names always address an adult by the formal name so if it's mr. or mrs. or 
um, Dr. Jones, talk to them with that formal greeting instead of using their first name. Now, if they tell you like, oh, you can call me Dan, then great, you can call them that. But um, always use that formal name at the beginning. And then uh, make an attempt to remember their name whenever you leave them. Um, if you have to kind of jot down a mental note whenever you leave or maybe tap something in your phone, if you got their contact just as a way to remember them, do that. It'll really mean a lot to that person for you to remember what their name was. And lastly, um, as far as communication goes, online, all these etiquette rules apply to people online also, or apply to things online. It applies to email. The things that you type, um, address them with their formal name. Think before you hit send. Especially online, things that you type and send, that stuff doesn't disappear. So make sure you really think about it. And then social media, same thing. Um, even if it's Snapchat, someone can screenshot that picture or screenshot something before you delete it and it will be there forever. So really pay attention and follow that etiquette while you are online. Okay, um, next we have business, school etiquette. Whether you're in the workplace and you need to make sure that you're kind of networking or meeting new people, make sure you shake their hands. Dress for the job that you have or the job that you want. Um, you're not going to have a high up job at a corporation and show up wearing sweats and a t-shirt. Um, be, sh have the proper attire for whatever you may do. School, there's a school code. Teachers will think more of you if you're kind of dressing with that proper attire. Um, learn what is expected of you and get ahead. That will really mean a lot and show that you're a re responsible person. Um, if you just know what's expected and get ahead before you fall behind. And then... Next, with business and school, it's always great etiquette to acknowledge others. So whether you're doing group work and you make sure that that person gets credit for what they do, or if you're at a job and you're in a meeting, make sure you let the people know that that person did this and give them proper credit. Okay, not only will um, the person who you're giving credit to appreciate it, but the boss or whoever that may be will also um, thank her of you for you being a team player. And kind of something that's new that people haven't had to think of before. Not necessarily new, but cell phones. That brings a whole new type of etiquette that now we have to think of that we didn't before. Um, with cell phones, keep it on silent. If you're somewhere where there's people, turn it on silent. Don't let it be a distraction from you being present with where you are. If it does ring, apologize real quick, pull it out, silence it, and put it up. Um, use it sparingly. If you're having a conversation with someone, give them your full attention. Um, I saw a meme as I was looking around and it said, um, make sure you're talking to the person in front of you. There's an app for that. It's called Respect. Um, I thought that was just kind of a way to think about it. It's Respect, guys. Don't pull out your phone and um, put more attention to that instead of what's in front of you and in the now. And then, like I was saying, put it away during conversation. Um, if you're out in public, no one wants to hear your conversations. Um, be respectful of other people, even if you don't know them. Don't have your phone on speakerphone. Um, ignore it if someone is giving you some type of service. If you're checking out, ignore your phone. Um, that cashier is doing something for you, so make sure you give them your full attention. And um, if you're talking on the phone, just be polite. Use your name. Answer with a smile on your face, even though they can't see it they'll be able to hear it through the phone line. So just use that etiquette while you're talking on the phone. And then next we have out and about. Um, things that I'm not gonna cover, but there's different kinds of etiquette for commuting. If you're riding a train or in a taxi on a subway, um, there's different types of etiquette that goes for commuting. Airports and planes, weddings, funerals, there's etiquette for each thing. If you're not sure what's expected of you, um, Look it up, talk to someone real quick so you know what that etiquette is. Got it. Are there any questions about the etiquette we just talked about? No? Okay. So at the beginning, I had you pretend like y'all um, didn't know each other, switch seats. Now, knowing these things I just went over, you're going to move again. So switch a seat. As y'all are moving, the first time through, I kind of saw maybe some laughing. Um, I want to see good etiquette as y'all are switching spots, okay? So, remember what we talked about, that handshake, looking someone in the eye, excuse me, please, thank you, all that good stuff. 
I want y'all to try one more time, and I'm going to see the different etiquette that we can use just right here. Got it? Okay, stand up, switch seats. Good etiquette. I see good handshakes, greetings, there's eye contact. There was, did you say excuse me right here? No? <laughs> excuse me. There we go. Okay, that was um, definitely a little bit better. We had more handshakes, there were smiles, eye contact. Um, just as y'all are, like I said, I know it's hard because we all know each other, but as you're out and about, that etiquette that you show will really um, help people. So, or help people kind of know you better and think higher of you. Um, what I have here, I have a video that kind of is an overview of everything we, that we've learned in good manners with examples from the movie Matilda. Got it? So we're going to end watching this real quick. examples, but I thought it was funny the um, kind of parody they made of it. But like she said at the end, guys, um, treat others the way that you want to be treated. That's kind of the golden rule. A lot of etiquette, um, if you'll treat others like you want to be treated, then you'll um, get far. And on the back of your handout, um, the quote that I chose, it says, manners are a sensitive awareness of the feelings of others. If you have that awareness, you have good manners no matter what fork you use. So at that dining table, if you have all the utensils, it doesn't matter what fork you use. Really, it means just showing that you have proper manners and that'll get you further than all the little stuff. Got it? Any questions? All right. Thank y'all very much.